The Mass Airflow Sensor, MAF, has an important role in the proper functioning of your car's engine. It provides data to the engine control module, ECM, on how much air is coming in so it can figure out the perfect amount of fuel to give into the engine through the fuel injectors. Without the MAF, your car's engine wouldn't know what to do since it ensures optimal air-to-fuel ratio for efficient engine operation. Unfortunately, and we can't help it, sometimes your car's MAF sensor decides to start acting up. So in this video, we're sharing with you the common signs of a bad MAF sensor, as well as its location within your car, and what it might cost you to get a replacement. Sign number one, difficulty, starting the engine. If your car has been giving you difficulty starting up in the morning, a faulty air mass sensor could be to blame. During initial engine startup, a precise airflow mixture is important for optimal performance. So if your car's engine is not receiving the correct fuel injection dosage, it can lead to multiple attempts before the engine successfully starts or fails to start altogether. Sign number two, engine is struggling to pick up speed. As expected, a faulty MAF sensor can lead to erratic or rough acceleration because of improper fuel injection. This typically occurs when the air-fuel ratio becomes imbalanced, either leaning towards excessive air or fuel. As a result, the engine may struggle to generate enough power to accelerate smoothly, causing hesitation, sluggishness, or a noticeable lack of power when attempting to pick up speed. Sign number three, poor acceleration performance. To make sure you have optimal engine performance, you need to have the right mix of air and fuel in the combustion chamber. So when the MAF sensor is faulty, it may inaccurately measure the amount of air entering the engine, which can lead to an imbalanced air-fuel mixture. As a result, the engine may struggle to generate sufficient power for acceleration, which will result in sluggishness or hesitation when attempting to pick up speed. This symptom is often characterized by a noticeable lack of responsiveness or power during acceleration. Sign number four, engine warning, light turns on. The ECM monitors the status of all engine sensors to ensure proper functioning. So when it receives faulty signals related to the MAF sensor or its associated systems, it will flip the check engine light switch on your dashboard. So, if your MAF sensor is giving your engine control unit the wrong data, the check engine light will turn on. This warning light should serve as an alert to you that there is a problem with the engine or emission control system that requires attention. Even if there's no engine light flashing on your dashboard, the presence of a malfunctioning MAF sensor cannot be dismissed. So when your engine warning light turns on, it's advisable to use an OBD2 scanner and check the diagnostic trouble codes first. Sign number five, changed fuel consumption. The presence of a faulty MF sensor often shows in changes to fuel consumption. This means that there's a change in the amount of fuel the engine consumes while you're driving. Because of that, your fuel consumption may either increase or decrease. And while less gas sounds like a win, in reality, it can affect the engine performance and lead to higher maintenance costs in the long run. At the same time, this change in fuel consumption can impact engine performance and fuel efficiency and can lead to issues such as reduced power, rough idling, or poor acceleration. Sign number six, engine stutters. When the fuel doesn't burn properly in one or more cylinders, it will result to a misfire since the engine is getting interrupted power delivery during acceleration or while maintaining a steady speed. And for the engine to fire up right, it needs the right mix of air and fuel, along with effective ignition and compression. But if the air-fuel mix doesn't meet the prescribed specifications, you might end up with one or more cylinders failing to ignite properly, causing misfire. This can cause the engine to hesitate, stumble, or momentarily lose power, leading to a noticeable stuttering sensation while driving. Sign number seven, unsteady engine, speed rough idle. 
When your car is at the startup and idle phases, that's when it's most vulnerable to experiencing issues. So, don't be surprised if problems show up even when the engine is in idle conditions. But if your idle's suddenly gone all rough, or if your engine's been stalling out lately, there's a good chance your MAF sensor may have failed. A rough idle can mean an underlying issue with the engine's air-fuel ratio, which may be linked to a faulty MAF sensor. This can cause the engine to run erratically, resulting in vibrations, surges, or fluctuations in engine speed while idling. Sign number eight, excessive black smoke, exhaust emissions. If you're seeing black smoke coming out of your exhaust pipe, it's a clear indicator that your engine's getting more fuel than it needs compared to air, and it requires further diagnosis and repair. In such instances, a faulty MAF sensor may be to blame since it's providing inaccurate readings of the incoming air that leads to an improper fuel-to-air ratio. Where do you typically find the MAF sensor located in a car? The MAF sensor is commonly located within the intake air duct, typically in between the air filter housing and the throttle body. But note that its specific placement may vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle, because manufacturers fit it according to the engine design. You can recognize your MAF sensor by its cylindrical or rectangular shape and is equipped with an electrical connector. But if you're still unsure about its exact location, refer to a repair manual or conduct a brief online search. So, what is the expected cost of replacing your MAF sensor? The average cost of replacing a mass airflow MAF sensor varies depending on the specific car model and the labor rates that mechanics charge. Typically, this amount falls within the range of $240 to $350. Labor costs are estimated to range from $40 to $70, while the parts themselves are priced between $200 and $300. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it.